Hello, good morning. So in class today, we practice solving story problems about our chicken nests and the eggs inside. Now today for homework, you're gonna keep solving some stories about chicken nests. Remember your thinking job is how can I use what I know about tens and ones to help me solve a story problem? So let's solve one together so that you're ready to go and work by yourself. The chicken has five nests. Each nest has 10 eggs in it. The hen has one extra egg. How many eggs does the hen have? Hmm. I'll read it again. Picture the story in your mind. The hen has five nests. Each nest has 10 eggs in it. The hen has one extra egg. How many eggs does the hen have? All right. So I heard first the hen has five nests. And it looks like they already drew those nests on the picture for me. One, two, three, four, five, five nests. How many eggs are inside each nest? Think about the story. Yes, each nest has 10 eggs in it. I could draw 10 ones to show those 10 eggs, but I know there's a faster way I could draw a 10. I know 10 eggs must make one group of 10. It must make Yes, so I'm gonna draw, instead of 10 little eggs, I'll draw one 10 in each nest. One 10, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. I could draw 10 sticks because I knew that the nests had 10 eggs inside of them. So 10 eggs can make one 10. But I, am I done now? No, it, the story also said the hen has one extra egg. Hmm. It has one extra egg. I know one doesn't make a 10. So let me draw the extra egg on the outside. That's a one. Now I wanna know how many eggs does the hen have all together? If I see a group of 10, what can I count it by? Yes, I can count it by tens to go faster. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Hmm, look at this. Can I count that by tens? No, that's not a 10. That's a one. So I need to count on by ones. 50, 51. I always circle my answer. My answer is 51. Now I can write some words to explain my thinking. Hmm. I knew that there were five nests with 10 inside. So I know there were five tens and there was one extra egg. So that was one, one and one, one. I counted by tens and ones to get 51. Wow, great job. Now you're gonna get to solve this problems on page 24 and 25 all by yourself. Good luck, can't wait to see your hard work.